Hey. Whoa, okay, okay. <laughs> he doesn't want to be bothered, I guess. Good morning from Bali, you guys. We have moved on today. We are spending time with our friend. We are going to look at some animals. We're gonna have a little bit of an adventure in one of the um, slot canyons, it looks like. Have some water and stuff. This is gonna be a good day. We have nice weather, even though it is the rainy season. And let's get this day started. Thank you. Okay, you guys so we are in the village that my friend is from and we're far away from any of the tourist stuff and apparently we're just gonna be stopping and visiting all the different family members to look at animals my friend is an animal enthusiast and he has a lot of animals stashed at different people's places different relatives so I believe we're here to look at some animals and um, show you guys what we see uh, <laughs> okay you guys the next stop this is a friend of our friend he's local in the village and um, they've known each other since uh, my friend was quite young and this gentleman is very passionate about animals as well seems like a lot of people in this village are actually very passionate about animals and keeping animals so a lot of my friend's animals are in the care of this gentleman and he actually has started a mini zoo and it does get some tourist draw but it is in the village far away from the tourism area the main tourism areas but so we're going to take a look and see what we've got over here it's a quite interesting day <laughs> I had no idea I was that famous. I've never even been here. Oh, here's another one of me. That was our previous visit to our friend's place. Hey guys. Hi. Hey. Hi. 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 Oh. Is that so? Hi! These two macaques were recovered from a hunter's home. Uh, he shot and killed the mom, didn't realize that there were two babies and he kept them in his house. They were pretty malnourished when the people here found out about it. They went over to his place, took the two babies back here, nurtured them back to health. They used to roam free, but macaques don't make the best pets. Uh, they started getting aggressive. One doesn't like females, one doesn't like children, and they started injuring the chickens and the local birds in here. So now they have to be restrained for the time being. I'm sure they'll find a proper place for them uh, in the near future. This is just temporary.
And this is the same one that I was holding last time I was here. Although last time I was here, I don't think I was making any videos. So cool. This is a civet cat. They're an omnivore. They have to, you have to keep a close eye on them because they, they are hunters. So this one has to be kept away from the birds and the other things because uh, you know the animal instinct will kick in. But really, really interesting creatures. And of course in video you can't get the smell. There's like a musty kind of wild, wild animal smell. Very cool. Getting a big dose of animals today for sure. So you guys, this was actually really cool. This mini zoo, this is something else. So a lot of these animals belong to my friend and um, man, saw some really cool stuff up close and personal. Get to interact with a lot of animals. Just a hidden little spot here along the way. Very, very cool. So how's this for, you know, just, a, just your average backyard? <laughs> Wow, everything here in Bali is just beautiful. Everything is done so artistically. Of course, when you love animals, you have, you know, bird aviaries, peacocks, and all sorts of different stuff going on in here. But there are some reptiles back here that we're going to be checking out. Okay, you guys, I think you know what these are. These are Fiji Island iguanas. My friend is having a lot of success breeding these here. In fact, this one here in my right hand, this is a gravid female. But this is also a first for me, being able to have a couple of these in my hands. It's pretty, pretty amazing for me. It's the first time. And these are so calm, it's, it's amazing. Not what I would, I would expect at all. And the new addition on my right shoulder, that is a one-year-old male that's the offspring of this pair right here. So clearly there's a lot of success that my friend is having here with these guys. Pretty amazing. I'm having a really crazy morning so far. <laughs> I'm kind of blown away. Not too close. So the smaller ones are this year's babies and then yearling and then the adults. All right, you guys, so now we're getting into my friend's personal collection of animals. So we're gonna start with these guys. These are Agurnia, this is Depressa, and this is Epsisolis. A couple of pretty rare lizards in the hobby and these are really, really nice. This Epsa Solis is really eye appealing. It's really pretty. For those of you that have never handled these, they're really strange. They're really, how can I, they're real solid, solidly built little animals, um, but they're very calm and super, super spiny. The tails are 
short and stubby. Very, very strange, unique lizards. But I'm seeing a whole bunch of stuff today that I've never seen before and never interacted with, so I'm gonna have some fun today. So these are really rare blue tongue skink. These are Centralian blue tongues. Man, look at that tongue go, that's crazy. The blue tongues that I deal with do not do anything even remotely close to that. That is really unique. That is really something else, wow. All right, and there's a couple more surprises down here in this cage. Okay, and I believe you guys probably know what these are. These are shingleback skinks. Very, very interesting scalation. They also have the short stubby tail, unlike the normal blue tongue skinks that you see us with from Indonesia. But having a lot of fun, seeing a lot of animals that uh, I've never seen before or that I've seldom seen before. And there is more yet to come because I know that there are some other animals that he's working with that will also be a first for me. It's a good day. Okay, so still starts another adventure. Uh, we're gonna be trekking and getting wet here. Hopefully the camera will survive, but we are, um, on our way. Kind of have no idea what we're going to be doing, but uh, I know it's going to be wet because we just had to put all of our stuff in the locker. So here we go. in mind that we're in Bali so here's yet another locality water monitor I was not fast enough I was hoping to do a gentle catch but I think there's no such thing with these guys so our friend was able to locate exactly where that guy went into the rocks there and he was able to get it out and these have a, actually a very strong bite and they like to not let go and chew and bite and bite and bite and it actually really hurts so I don't want to let this guy get a grip on me. So there you go, how's that? We saw some bigger ones before we started, but um, just happened along to see a small one. So that is really cool. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah.
you guys so today has come to an end we had a really busy day we uh, had kind of a physical day for a while and we went around and saw all kinds of animals it was a blast and what better way to end the day with some delicious seafood so we're getting ready to grub down and that is about it we will see you again tomorrow take care